Howdy folks, Chuck here, Why Not Wander. I'm with Miss Jean, Miss Linda. We're at Black Hills Harley Davidson, a Harley dealer here in uh, Rapid City. We stopped up just west of the dealer on the way in. And from one of the vendors, I had a display iPhone here a minute ago. I don't know where it went to, but I bought a new iPhone holder so that uh, I can see my phone and use that for wow. GPS. I also I had a cup holder over there, but they also had cup holders here that mount to my uh, brake cylinder. And then a Yeti style cup. It's not a Yeti brand, but a Yeti style. This kind of rubber coated, so that fits in there firmly. To hold a drink, it doesn't bounce around. Then for Miss Linda, we also got a cup holder back here that goes over the uh, edge of the travel trunk so anyway we're gonna go wander around look at some motorcycles look at some more vendors take you along with us to see what we see Linda says we'll probably buy more stuff she's probably right we get up here and there doesn't seem to be a limit to what we might do but, so Linda has scratches on her phone she's probably she's probably gonna have to buy a new phone here Uh, we'll see. I don't know. So, all right. Got the bikes, bikes or parked. Oh, we just stopped at Camping World. We bought some more uh, leveling pads. We're going to put under the tires. I did not. And look what else we bought. Oh yeah. We've been spending money like it's going out of style. Oh yeah, Linda got a new pillow. It, hold it up. If we're going to show it, let's hold it up. We've got a couple t-shirts, too. But, uh, yep, Sturgis Buffalo chip shirt from his Linda. It's a pillow with a United States on it, and each state is uh, labeled there with their initial letters. So, cool thing there. They had it on sale. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I bought that one, 70. 79th Annual Black Hills, South Dakota Motorcycle Rally. I don't know if you can make it out. That's a kind of a smoke skull there. So something about skulls and motorcycles go together. So, all right. Yep, go together because they're badass, she said. Now, ton of bikes here already. I thought maybe it would be early enough. What time is it, noonish? It's afternoon, okay. I was telling them maybe it wouldn't be so crowded because we were coming early, but... I guess it's not early anymore and look at all the motorcycles in the lot here this is just visitors coming to look at stuff you're welcome i'm glad you like it so i'll lock up the trunk here and we'll be on our way well okay so all kinds of bikes here there's a gold wing trike right here, the yellow one. Motorcycles and motorcyclists of all kinds. Over here they've got a... Uh, oh, I'm going to call them tra camping trailers. In my mind it just distinguishes between motor motorized RVs and pull behind. But these are toy haulers. So you get, they have a back patio. You can put your motorcycle up inside. These couches fold up. And then they, there's a bed that will come down. If you can see that up there. So this could be a bedroom, a living room, a motorcycle storeroom, a shop. Pretty much whatever you need. This one has a surround. So you have an outdoor patio. Miss Linda wants to look inside. Here, Linda. Show people around, would you? So my thing, if we got one of these, is that I don't want to have to use the back where we put the bikes as a room. I want it just to be like the garage, right? And I really like the back patio. So I may be wrong, but I'm assuming that patio also doubles as a ramp or lift or whatever to get the bikes here. And this is nice, you know, just for seats. But we could certainly use this to store 
some of Chuck's stuff because we would definitely compromise bike storage. Like the couch and the kitchen, not quite as roomy, but Chuck and I have learned to live in small space. And then up here is the shower and Jean. <laughs> so that would mean the bathroom's up here. Oh, and I do like that the bathroom's all secluded, you know. We don't have that right now. Um, let's step in here and see if it's roomy enough. Oh, what? And then the bed. Actually, this doesn't look bad at all. I wonder if they have a washer dryer. That would be my only other thing. They have a little bit, a lot of it is storage. We have so much storage in our coach right now. I would hate to give that up. Yeah. Well, there's no room for a washer and dryer. It'll never work. Okay. This price is 85,000, much cheaper than a class A for sure. So, I, you know, it's not bad. What do you think, Jean? Yeah, I think we'd have to give up a lot of stuff to have it. That's what I think. I like the patio a lot, but you know. Well, why do you put my drink in the patio? Yeah, that's a hard trade-off, man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna walk down like an old woman. All right, I don't know where Kramer went. I have to find him. Yeah. So that's the problem with most of these. It's not that we wouldn't, is that our living space wouldn't be enough room for a full time. And I'd give up closet space and I would not have, uh, I would not have washer dryer capabilities. Now this one, if we look, it's open. And uh, then you're using your garage parking as part of your living space. And my problem with that is you end up like smelling the gas. So I don't know that I want that either. Well, if I knew where Chuck went, do you know? Have you seen him? He's in that. Oh, <laughs> he left me to walk around with this thing. Boy, don't you just love that? I don't know where he could have gone. Oh, Mr. Kramer, where could you be? I'll be honest, I don't want to live stream. I want him to take this back. Maybe I should, oh, I can't. I'm like, maybe I'll text him, but oh, gee whiz, I have his phone, so that won't do me much good, now will it? I would guess he's browsing through these. So I feel like if I stand here long enough, he'll appear. God only knows where he went. Or, oh, there he is. I knew he'd appear. Okay, here's my honey bun in his new shirt. He looks much, but I really think he, I love him in those little cutoffs. Somebody has really huge rear areas, don't they? That's a fucking fifth wheel, right? Okay, you have a problem with them. Well, I'll Did you show this one already? No, I've not seen this Okay, one. this one actually you can get one, two, three full-size motorcycles in. Yeah. But that's your entire living area exactly. as well. Exactly. And uh, so you have if, to take the pipes out in order to live. The refrigerator is only a break, small regular, you know, residential. But it is a residential, which is a plus. And, uh, That one over there had a washer and dryer hookup in the rear area, oh, that might be right, right beside a half bath. Well, the bathroom but, in that one we went in was okay, but the closet space was limited. And again, no room for a washer dryer. And I do like my washer dryer. Yep. And this doesn't 
we would with our traveling we would want to have a washer and dryer we've 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 toyed with the idea of a toy hauler in the past okay share what you've learned Here's what i've learned when you're living in your motor home full time whether it be your trailer or your class a or whatever it is there's a big difference between living in and camping and when you're living in it you need you need to think about a whole set of different things like counter space in the kitchen yeah. closet space um storage space in general when you're li when you're living in it, your whole life has to fit exactly. in it. Whereas for weekend camping or trips to a motorcycle rally, basically you load up your motorcycles, you get there, you unload your motorcycles, yep. and then you've got all your room inside. Well, you take your week. take your laundry home, and most stuff you're going to leave at home. Yep. But where we live full time, we have to consider everything we have yep. has to go somewhere. Now, it would be nice not to have to pull a trailer. You could pull this with a truck, unhitch, and then you've got the truck for when you're not riding motorcycles. But yeah, really, motorcycles. now this does have a, a come down bed in the back, so you'd have room for a couple more people. And I really like but, the back patio. I think that would be so yeah. nice. And I think you and I would really enjoy that. Yeah. But in all honesty, I haven't, I, if I ever find something that will replace what we currently have, I might be more well, interested in trading. The other but, thing you don't have is a, a work area, a dining table. Right, of course, well, you got a little fold-up table here. Yeah. But yeah, but I mean, you got a printer and everything else that needs to have, yeah. needs to live somewhere all the time. But you have enough room down here. You could buy just a regular freestanding desk. Well, uh, we would need the one without yeah. the, without the room for the third motorcycle. Right. If we were to do something like. So far, I'm not convinced. We really like traveling in a motor home yeah. because everything is right there all the time. Yeah. If you want to spend the night in the Walmart, you got all your living space and everything. Yeah. You don't have I to can't. unload anything. Let's all think about that closet in the back of our class A. It's the yeah. whole width of our motor home. Yep. Now I have to cut, cut down to this. This is about with 36 inches clothes, total closet. You know, with my work clothes, with my yep. plate clothes, with everything, co winter coats, yep. everything. I can't do that. Well, you know? again, because so, because it's a year round, you have to have everything yeah, in there. So, so yeah, okay. so that's okay. Oh, yeah. Well, this was just something to oh, see. This is my opinion. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. Hell, not all the time. We consider. So this. far, we haven't decided that this would really work for us. Where Miss Linda works from the road. Yeah, as long as I'm working from the road, we've got to consider. And now I this was this was just a bumper pull here. Yeah, I'm just going by what? No, that's fifth wheel. That guy was standing next to me. was commenting about how he didn't think something was a fifth wheel. But I think... Oh, there's bumper pulls over up here. So We'll glance in, go on up. We still have to... We're here to look at motorcycles. Not that we need one. Oh, this I like this kitchen. Uh, it still doesn't have a dining table. It's got a center island. Your sink is in the island. It's a nice pantry. Where are you going to put your pots and pants? I guess underneath underneath the sink. Okay, now this is 50% pa yep, yep. Convection microwave, yeah, which uh, in ours the convection microwave mounts up above the stove. Uh, you know, I haven't seen any TVs in any of these. Okay, here's a half bath, rather small. Here's your washer dryer hookups. Okay. If you had a motorcycle here and a motorcycle there. Two. Got, oh, Two. Right. Well, so here's here's fit? front hold downs. Here's front hold downs. So could you have a washer dryer with motorcycles? Depends how big your motorcycles you are. Did, yes, you could. Um, maybe if you did. Yes, you um, could. You'd just have, have to. Stackable, sure. Well, a motorcycle, we already know eight, eight feet, right? right? So there's three, six, nine. Yeah, that'd fit. Okay. Wouldn't be luxuriously right. roomy, but it would fit. Excuse me.
Okay, here's a similar thing in a bumper pull. This doesn't have the, has a front bedroom, but not an upstairs bedroom. Kitchen's in the motorcycle area. Something similar here. Okay, lost Miss Linda now. She must be telling something. Telling somebody about all the stuff she learned by looking at them. So. Wednesday in the Black Hills, South Dakota. Sturgis 2019. It's August 7th today. There she comes. I can spot her better with those orange arms. Consider the back ends your motorcycle storage. You're yeah. not going to have a slide out there. Right. You might have a slide on each side in the main part. Okay. Maybe in that the would that would probably be about it. And uh, the bedroom up up in front. Yeah, and there might be one in the bedroom that would give you that, so you can have that closet. But the back and the half is necessary. Yeah, they're 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 basically campers. But a lot of people do live in them full time. Live and travel. Yeah. A lot of people that travel full time still have a house keeping most a lot of their stuff too. Lost Jean completely. Yeah. Yep. She wasn't as interested in looking at this stuff. No. And I think that's okay. Well, she just bought a new bike not long ago. She's very interested. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at these bikes. Covington's Customs. Rear lowering kits for $129.95 installed. Some pretty fancy stuff right here. I don't see one of these in my future. Yeah, it gives more of the low rider look. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's all on what you, uh, what you like. I like Chevy trucks and stock Harleys. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. I think we go this way better. A lot of things to be seen. There's the dealership over there. Yeah. Where they're, I think the tent was the other side of the dealership, wasn't it? Where they had the used bikes. This is all vendors and uh, custom work out here in this area. Huh? All right. That lady that parked next to us going for beer. Oh. I'm pretty sure I'm going to order a stabilizer for this because I'm a, as I'm walking, I feel it jiggle in my hand. Well, and I was watching somebody that was doing a uh, phone, and I don't remember who it was. Not you. Lots and, of people are doing it. Oh, the, the motion, and that was terrible. Yeah. Oh, I know what it was. It was uh, I was watching Bobby Bones. Okay. Uh, taping them at a baseball game, 
that doing stuff in the band. It was terrible the way she flipped back and forth and when she walked the jiggling. So. There you go, 21 inch custom wheel with tire installed. $1,099? Yep. I'll give you one of these instead of one of these, I guess. Well, and that's kind of a custom thing there anyway. I think this is a CVO bike. I'm not positive of that, so don't uh, don't give me a bunch of trouble with the comments. I'm not a very bright boy. I just like what I'm doing and I like sharing it with y'all. Let's see, I can't see. There's the sun's too bright, the screen's too dark. It's like we have two people watching right now, so thanks for watching. Glad you came along with us. We're at Black Hills Harley Davidson, Rapid City, South Dakota. Just looking at all the things that there are to be seen, and there's lots of them. Sturgis, 2019. Boy, they've sure changed the gold wings. I think we're looking at a pretty late model gold wing right here, Honda. I like that paint. Yakin as a motorcycle accessory dealer. All things motorcycle, find it here. Buy it today and get it installed for free. Buy your patches and there's somebody here to sew it on your vest. Kind of a warm day, there's a few vests, few jackets, a lot of t-shirts. Linda's kind of gravitating toward the shade here herself. Low battery, 20% remaining. So we'll keep charging this, keep going for a while here. If the battery dies, it dies. Got that new phone rack on my bike. You know, I have one, but I appreciate it. Thank no you. No problem. Wheels, wheels, and more wheels. As I was saying, we'll get the battery charged up when we get on a bike again. So someday, depending on how things turn out in this next month with my hip, I wouldn't mind some LEDs. But the reality for oh. me is my husband can install those and save me oodles. I'm not so sure. Wild-ass motorcycle air cushion. There you go. Those gel seat covers? No air. Really? Yeah. Miss Linda's been having a little hip and back problems, which we have an appointment next week with a surgeon a surgeon in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska to get evaluated. But some of these bumps have really been kind of rough on her. Well, depends on how much you air them up, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. I would imagine. Inflatable. Huh? Oh, gosh. I was thinking about you. I know. But I guess if you wanted a cushion, be... you could have brought that gel cushion with you today. Yeah. So. The dog, yeah. The dog. We have a gel cushion in the 
Actually, we had two gel cushions. The old Harley was a real rough rider, so we bought a couple of them on one of the trips, actually up in Sturgis, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, sometime when we were here. Yeah. Probably. Did you want to check it out? All right. You're good. I'm doing good. Do you have just a minute? Yeah, one, one if you, the lady in the orange shirt sleeves needs some help here when you have a minute. Yeah, I'll be right back. Neoprene rubber, polyurethane gel, polyurethane. Oh, so, yeah, I told him you needed help. He said he'd be right back. So if you would talk to her, thank you. Oh, yeah, you're... You're live on YouTube, is that okay? We'll maybe help you sell something here. When we're not riding on our motorcycles. what's inside oh, so those the fill valve and, uh, I, with air pockets so Thank you. Perhaps not. Can I over here? So I try? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here, here, we can try this one. Okay. Does it matter? I'm guessing this goes down. Okay. How do you inflate these? Can you inflate it by mouth? Do you have to have a pump? Or? No, no, no. You inflate with your mouth. It's just a twist. Wow. Okay. So start with it high and then let it down. How about that? You don't want to be on top of the wheel. You want to be down. Yeah, yeah. 
I just said, just be said to motor home and travel. I just, my, my second favorite place to be in my bike is my 96 month old lawn tractor. It has no suspension. Cool. You might have to adjust going from the bike to the car just because the seat is different. Sure. But definitely, uh, football sure. games are great at football games too. I would imagine so. So when you're riding, what do you ride? <laughs> That's all right. Uh, last year, I've been coming out most of my fourth year. I had to drive last year because I had to drive. Uh, the rotator cuff, I could drive. But the size, the size of the cabin, you're on your work, you're on your work, you're on your Well, they started at 99. Stand up, let's look at it. I want to see which one you're on. Okay. That's the wider one. No, but it's by the bladder material. Oh, gotcha. Not by the... Oh, not by the size. But some of them are tougher, I suppose. Oh, gotcha. Sorry. So the base material is a single layer of polyurethane. Okay. Wow. These are all 99 and... Okay. We're the only company right now that's doing this, so it's a ge air gel, so it's that same air cell thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gel oh, yeah. So the gel is going to take up some of the shock. And right. Uh -huh. and so any of those are 175. That's yikes. Yeah, I know. And the big one, Was I meant this is medical grade e cream rubber. It's the same thing that the wheelchair pads are made out of, but these are 225. Actually, I would think Nikes. probably this one. Be the right. most comfortable, yeah, I would too. The big what was this one? This is this, this material. Is that one? But we can hear it. Let's try I would one. like to try one. Now, of how much do these inflate or deflate sitting in the sun while you're in having a beer? Yeah. Well, if you leave it on your bike, somebody's going to take it. You'll share it. Bring it with you. Put it in the So we won't ever know if it. We won't ever know if it gains air, will we? Well, this one, the neoprene one, if you leave it in the truck, it's hot, it will gain some air. But that's okay. Just a I was thinking about the sun shining on it, but I didn't know if it would. Right. So stand up. Oh. This is what here? I'm I'm the tush tester. I see that. How you guys doing? No, this one's not bad either. They're all it's a good, better, best in the material. Right, right. I'm thinking probably mid grade. And we don't even know, you know, we're probably looking at surgery for the next year or two, and hopefully after that it'll be a non-issue, but who knows, as she gets older. It's been mentioned. It's been mentioned, but we haven't been evaluated totally yet. That's a... Let's get one. Let's get one. Let's get one. Yes. I think I would love it in the motorhome. I think I would feel so much better. Use the Cabela's card. Okay, so Miss Linda's gonna get a pad for the motorcycle seat here. Wow. Close it down. Now we generally 
Pretty low volume, you know, it's not like blowing up an air mattress. It's cheaper there? Why can't you get that discount here? So you're doing all this work, you want us to buy it somewhere else? You know, you want it for the ride back anyway. I think you should just buy it. I think you should just buy it. I'll drink, I'll drink one less beer or something. Okay. Right. Warranty information. This is the owner's Okay. Information. All right. Oh, I put such a wallet down. What's the five dollar thing there? Uh, that's for apparel or anything. Purchases online. It's got it's got the assets. Okay. Oh, well, that might be fun. A badass okay. hat for you. Okay. Really no. Right. Well, thank you. Oh, we rode all day yesterday, and she was pretty beat by night. Okay. That's it. Well, thank you very much. Okay, pay the man. All right, so. I know we're running out of battery power. Don't know how long we'll last, but uh, when it dies, it dies. Thanks for watching. Looks like we got maybe three people watching right now. Uh, I don't know that I have comments that enabled or disabled or anything else. But uh, it's really beside the point. We're just trying to show you around Sturgis here a little bit this year. We're at Black Hills Harley Davidson in Rapid City right now. Miss Linda's buying a, uh, an air cushion for the back seat. You're welcome. Yep, I hope. Where is the guy? So, she's waiting to check out black exhaust system, three ninety nine for a Sportster. Frog togs, rainwear, they're real popular with bikers. They do melt if you get them against hot exhaust, though. We found that out in the past. Linda has a set of frog togs. She's got a couple holes in the leg on her pants. But the jacket still works really well. Mustang seats. More Kuriakin accessories. I'm going to venture to say most anything you want for a motorcycle, you can find it at a vendor in or around Sturgis. We are in Rapid City right now, just outside of Rapid City. Black Hills Harley-Davidson. Thank you guys for watching, whoever is watching. Whoever watches this later, we appreciate your watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have anything to say about what we do. I'm hoping we'll see some more motorcycles here before the battery dies. That's kind of why we stopped. We're not planning on buying, but we were going to look and just see. It's one of them things. You find the right thing, you buy it. Or at least sometimes we do. If we're able and if we want it. 
pretty happy with what we got sometimes just to see the right thing and want to change. So, looks like she found somebody to check her out finally. Oh, I like those little lights. No so kidding. We were talking about hips and, and hip replacements or anterior. When I said anterior, he knew exactly what I was saying because he's also an expert. Yeah. Also understands the whole surgical thing yeah. and understands my hip issues. Yeah. Except we don't even know if it's back or hip or knee for sure. Well, it's probably well, all the doctor said it was my hip. Yeah. And we'll see if you want to talk about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Take care. Okay, dear. All right. I just. Flag 10% on my battery, so. It's cool right there. What oh, was yeah. it? I don't know. This air. What? We're sure spending money this year. Well, hopefully some of it's going to last a while. Man, I'm thinking it'll work in the motorhome, too. Come over here a minute. Uh, I want to go find motorcycles. Oh, okay. Let's do that. We're done shopping. I'm good. Linda's getting way too much this year. Oh, nice. I would be happy to go inside tomorrow. Okay, once you go inside and I'll come back and find you. Nope, I'm going to go with you to look at motorcycles. Oh, they're over here, aren't they? Okay, there's the there's the tent with the used bikes, yeah. Well just it probably won't take us long in here. There's only a very narrow range I'd actually be interested in looking at. My next motorcycle if her to do something. I like orange and black. That one? Okay, just a minute. I really like that one. That's a road glide without a travel trunk. I really like the uh, Ultra Classics. I like a travel trunk. When we are doing something going somewhere, we usually pack in plenty of gear too. Or spare helmets. If we go for riding, think it might rain, we take along helmets with face shields. But, uh, it's a pretty nice looking bike right there. You want a picture? Yeah. Oh, I'm recording. There Thank you. It's yeah. got, uh, looks like 30,000 miles. It's like a CVO. 
It's a CBO. Thirty thousand. Wow. No price tag though, is there? Yeah, that's that's more miles than what mine has. I think I'm about twenty six or twenty six. Not many, very many more. But it's not really quite what I'm looking for. It's not jumping at me. It's not jumping at me. So it's a nice bike. I wish they would put prices on them. There's no way you're going to find a salesman. Got a lot of bikes in here. A lot of nice bikes. You all saw my bike. It's about that color, but it's an Ultra Classic Limited. 103 engine, six speed transmission, cruise stereo, CD player. Got the whole works. But it's custom paint. How are you ever going to fix it? And it's a street glide. It is a pretty bike, yes. Not what I'd be looking for. Are you good to sell? I could go for a road glide, which are the ones with the dual headlights, like these right here. doesn't take me long to shop really because usually I know about what I'm looking for. We did find one in Conway, Arkansas a few months ago that I could have lived with. But I thought they were about five grand too high to start with and then another five grand too low on what they'd offer me. In my mind we were ten grand apart. And they weren't wanting to negotiate so I still have mine and I like it. Looking up there, up there. Yeah, there is an orange one up there. Looks like an ultra classic. Looks like it's been customized some. Oh yeah, it's got that nice orange glow paint. Metal flake. Doesn't look too worn out. How many? 30,000 miles. Really? Let me darn. Same as that one up there. Nice enough looking. Oh, yeah, that's got nice paint. Got nice paint, but it's, uh, I'm going to guess it's older. It does not have navigation. One thing I would go for uh, 2014 and newer for uh, the built in navigation. In fact, the really newer ones have a huge screen on their navigation, too. So we'll walk back the other way. We'll keep looking. I don't know if there really is another side. A lot of nice bikes for sale. Buy one today and ride the rally with it. Got a lot of Jeeps here. Mahindra. Those aren't Jeeps. They're Mahindra. That's the company that made Lynn's tractor. I'll bet they're plenty. Okay, there's one like mine. Oh, well, looks newer than mine. Similar paint scheme. I think that might be true black where mine's, well, it's kind of hard to tell in this light. It's not black. Mine's kind of a root beer colored. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't have the big square navigation screen in the middle is kind of what I'm looking there for there. Looking for there, because with the built-in navigation, you can see it right in front of me. Plus, being built in, you can hear it really well. Now, I can see my cell phone pretty good. I've got a uh, Garmin Harley Zumo, they call it, add-on. GPS unit, but it's hard to see, impossible to hear going down the road. So that would be one of my conditions for an upgrade. I'm going to guess these are probably all older than that. Oh. Oh, yeah, 
I don't think so. Thanks. Here's an unusual looking bike here. Okay. Look at the paint job on this one. I like this one. That's like wow. That's really pretty. That's a good deal on that bike. Is it? Yeah. Is this paint or like a vinyl that wrap? Is, that or? is custom. Oh, it's, I know it's custom. It's beautiful. And for $89.95, that's cheap. Do you work here? I do work here. My husband's a salesman here. Okay, well, she's got a street glide. I got an ultra. It's really not something we're looking for, but it's fun to look at. Yeah, this is cute. I like this one. Right. Right. Is there one out here? We haven't seen one. Well, we're from out of town. We're just here for the rally. But we stop in and look every year. So. Oh, here's quite a paint job on this trike. How about that for some flames? There's the bigger screen with the built-in navigation. Front and center, easy to see and see where you're going, keep an eye on the road too. But they don't have an orange and black one. I'm thinking this must be a new one. It's got the 114 engine. Got the navigation. Nice and shiny and I got a hold on it, it's probably sold. So it's got 40 miles on it. Linda sometimes has a hard time getting away from salespeople. Don't know where I lost her. She was talking to that lady back there that offered to get her husband, who is a salesperson. I wanted to move on, and she was still talking. It's a road glide. The fairing's mounted to the body instead of the handlebars. So it's been customized a little bit with those tall handlebars. Special paint job. This might be a CVO. This is a mighty pretty bike right here with a 107 engine. 
Not sure what that one has over there. I think that guy's buying it. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. Looks like a street glide with a trunk added. Well, no, road glide of some kind. It's got the, the stationary fairing. Doesn't have the lowers. I have no idea. I guess I'm mixed on it. Oh, Is it? Okay. This is probably about a forty thousand dollar bike, though. It's brand new. Yeah. It sure is pretty, though, isn't it? Yeah. Let me, let me come by you, may I? That looks real neat, doesn't it? Has it got the accessory plug in it? Probably not. Nope. You got it sold? Maybe. That's too bad, huh? Yeah. I, I like don't. It. Don't know that we want to spend that much money anyway. How much? Can I ask what the price tag on this is? Fifty thousand. Oh yeah. I that's, guess yeah. I guessed a little low. Yeah. Well, that's pretty obvious. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't do that. I would not. I'd rather... Yeah. Yeah. 